yeah, it's... Talk to me about the emotion behind having mum as a trainer and you've got a bet that you like, but then you've got her horse there and you're like, oh, how hard is it to back against to back against mum when, when mum comes home for dinner and says, I really like this this week, and you go, I don't know if I like it as much as I like this. Look, um, it, it's not really hard in that it, we just think about it from a pure business point of view yeah. in that uh, my mum or gays, she, she thinks that all horses are going to win and they generally all lead. Um, but trainers don't have... There's some amazing trainers out there. Like you look at the likes of Gay and the other Hall of Fame trainers, they're amazing. Like and what they've been able to achieve and what they, mm. they do. But they've got very little idea of how the other horses are going and how the form lines up from all different areas and different trainers and preparation of what they're doing. Uh, they're not making their living through punting, which is a completely different skill set. And so uh, our ability to analyse form and really what my dad does is being able to analyse form and take form from all different areas and hundreds of factors and put it into a model to spit out what he sees as the true probability is far more accurate than what a trainer will tell you about, oh, my horse was great today because they aren't across all the different factors that come into working out that probability. So uh, she'd be far more inclined to ask my dad, oh, just my horse got a chance today even though he hasn't seen any track work, hasn't what, then he would ever ask or I would ever ask what she thinks because not that we don't think she's an amazing trainer. She's the best. Like She's trained more group ones than any living Australian trainer. She's, she's yeah, in, definitely. incredible. But uh, would I want to get her tips? Leave me out of it. I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll get my dad's tips every time. 